Come gather round and I'll tell you a tale on this hollow's eve. This is the tale of Caridwin. She was a witch and goddess of inspiration, transformation, and rebirth. She lived hundreds of years ago near Lake Bala in northern Wales. And this is her story. She had two children so dear to her heart, a daughter wise and beautiful, and a son, dim and ugly. She had an idea. She would create a potion for him that would give him all the knowledge of the world and the gift of poetic inspiration and transformation. But this was no ordinary potion. This would take a year and a day. Hmm. She went to the village and she enlisted young Guyan Bach, a boy from the village, to stir this potion. And stir it he did for days and weeks and months until it was almost ready. One day, though, he became distracted whilst he was stirring. And three drops of the potion sprang out and burnt his thumb terribly. Instinctively, he shoved his thumb into his mouth. And he received all the knowledge of the world, all the poetic inspiration and the gift of transformation that Caridwin had so desperately wanted for her son. He knew Caridwin would be angry. So he raced out of the cottage, through the town, through the hills, but Caridwin knew and she chased after him. Guyan Bach became a hare and ran ever faster. Caridwin, master of transformation, became a greyhound and chased him down. Guyan Bach found a river and leapt into the river and became a fish. Caridwin became an otter and swam after him as fast as she could. So Guyan Bach became a bird and flew up into the sky. Caridwin became a sparrowhawk, fast and agile and clever, and chased after him into the sky. Soon they were flying over a farmyard. Guyan Bach looked down and he spied a barn full of corn. Ah, he thought, if I could just change myself into one single grain of corn, I'll be safe. He changed himself into a grain of corn and fell down into the piles of corn. Caridwin, ever so clever, changed herself into a hen. And with her magic, she knew exactly which grain of corn Guyan Bach was, and she ate him up. But Guyan Bach was not destroyed, for he was magic, and he grew inside Caridwin's tummy. And when Caridwin gave birth to him, he was so beautiful and so lovely and so darling that she could do him no harm. She sewed a leather sack and tossed it into the ocean, knowing that someone would find him and save him. And someone did. A fisherman out on a fishing expedition found this strange sack and brought it home and inside it was the little baby. And as soon as he opened it, the baby began to, to spout the most beautiful poetry he had ever heard in his life. And as the child grew older, he could recite the most beautiful poetry and he had the gift of prophecy and was eventually very helpful to the king. And this, if you haven't guessed already, was the legendary bard, Taliesin. That is another story for another day. Between the
Happy Halloween.